Back in February of 2020, I switched from using Premiere Pro as my main editing software to now about 98% of all my projects I edit in DaVinci Resolve. You may be thinking, why bro, you crazy? Well, how about you tell me if I'm crazy or not in the comment section down below after watching this video. So the purpose of this video is to talk about my reasons why I switched over to hopefully help those that are, yeah, I've heard of DaVinci, but I'm still editing everything in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. Because let's face it, when you are comfortable with editing in a software that you've always used, it's really hard to even think or consider switching to a different software. But there were just some pain points that I had with Premiere Pro that really just completely diminished when I switched over to DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and jump into it. My reason number one is the advanced color grading abilities that you have in DaVinci Resolve. Color grading is hard enough as it is, and while the color grading tab in DaVinci Resolve can be a little bit overwhelming at first, I promise you it's worth the learning curve. Premiere Pro's color grading abilities compared to DaVinci Resolve it's much like learning to ride a bike for the first time and having training wheels on. Premiere Pro is the training wheels. In DaVinci Resolve, you take it off and the possibilities are absolutely endless. And I've just noticed a dramatic difference in the quality of my work since switching to DaVinci Resolve because not only have my color grading skills improved, I've been working on those quite a bit, but DaVinci Resolve allows me to really maximize my color grading abilities. Next up, my reason number two is the built-in noise reduction plugin, or not even really a plugin. It was a plugin in Premiere Pro, and in DaVinci, it's just built into the software. Now this is on the paid studio version. You cannot have this on the free version. It's kind of disabled. It's still there, but you can't use it. And I've definitely used the Neat Video plugin on Premiere Pro, and it works pretty decent, but it's kind of an archaic looking software. Whereas in DaVinci, there's so many more elements that you can control as far as noise reduction and chroma and the amount of frames that you want the software to analyze. It's just so much more user friendly and it's nice to be able to have that built into the software. My reason number three is it's a one-time payment or it's completely free. This is absolutely huge. As a video professional, I have a ridiculous number of monthly video subscriptions to music sites, visual effects, stock templates, and the list goes on. And then you add in Adobe freaking Creative Cloud. It really just stacks up as far as monetary investment on a monthly basis. Thankfully, DaVinci Resolve is still on the one-time payment and done, or if you want the standard version, not the studio. It's completely free. Reason number four is the stabilizer is just better. Compared to the warp stabilizer in Premiere Pro, the stabilization in DaVinci Resolve, which now with DaVinci 17 you can do on the editing tab or in the color grading tab, it's much more intuitive. I've noticed like you can control more things, lower the strength, you can increase the smoothness, you can reduce the cropping ratio, and it even has a camera lock mode. So say you're trying to get a stable shot handheld and you get it pretty stable but you can tell there's like some shakiness to it you can click on camera lock hit stabilize and it'll actually make it look like your camera's on a tripod it's kind of ridiculous good and reason number five is the deflicker what is the deflicker justin well it's funny you ask well you know when you're filming at kind of a higher frame rate and the fluorescent lights are flickering at you you find them a lot on like led panels or anything where there's a electronic screen. Well, all you do is go to the color grading tab, go to open FX, and then you find the deflicker, drag it on the node, and it's like magic wizardry. I don't know how it does this. It finds the flicker and it completely removes it. How does it do that? I don't know, but I love it and I use it a lot. Well, folks, those are all my reasons for switching over to DaVinci Resolve from Premiere Pro. Well, at least the top five reasons. There's many more that uh, if you're interested, drop me a comment below, especially if you're thinking about switching from Premiere Pro or any editing software for that matter. Uh, let me know your thoughts and just go ahead and download DaVinci Resolve. I will put a link to it in the description download it you can do the free version and if you do want to upgrade to the studio it is one time payment of $2.99 and you're done i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up share this with a friend drop me a comment down below i would love to hear from you and subscribe if you're not already we will catch you filmmakers in the next video